acoustics center, the click, the green mill, it's all written down here for you, it's amazing. She's a member of the jazz band Mixed Company, and she is also the director, just, she has a lot of time, this woman. She's also the director of women's services at the Duke.
next performer is Christine Miller. She is a poet and an artist whose imagery explores women's connection to nature and spirituality. Christine also has her visual art here on display, so make sure that you catch that. Uh, her poetry won first place in the Sierra Club Lake and Prairie. Her artwork has been exhibited at Maria's studio. I'm delighted that she's sharing her poetry with us today. a different kind of fire, um, considering what our benefit is here today, I've chosen to read this one for all of us who are survivors. It's called Before the Touch. There is that moment in a new love affair between a man and a woman before the touch. The air is charged with fire, and the space between the two lovers is all one pinging, zinging aliveness of ions and electrons wildly ricocheting with a heat that's so intense. The air burns, and the flesh quivers. There is that moment before the touch. And what if the touch never comes? that made the fire less real? Did you only imagine the heat? No. And what if the lover is your father? And you are his daughter? And the touch never comes. Does that mean the pain and the zinging and the quivering and the burning never were? No. There is that moment before the touch. Much of the healing in my life has come through discovering the feminine side of God, the goddess, if you will. Not that I don't think there's a masculine side too, but um, I found it hard at times to see you are father. And so I decided to write this poem, which is called Our Mother. Our Mother, who art the earth, merciful is your name. Your compassion flows. Your loveliness shows in earth and in heaven above. Give us today the peace we need and help us to be wise and true in all our deeds. And protect us from invasive people and shower us with love. For you are the near one and the true one. Thank 
We now have a um, pianist to share with you, a wonderful young woman. She is um, a native of Glen Ellen and she's a junior at DePaul University. She's um, working on degrees in performance piano as well as liberal arts. This is um, uh, Jennifer Zlata and she studies with Mary Sauer, who's the uh, pianist with the CSO. She's just a really gentle person. I think she's <laughs>
that she truly is. Her poems provide an opportunity for the voice of others to be heard. I would like to proudly present Spirit Song Sister. on the altar. <laughs> I think that means I'm delegated to the highest. So. <laughs> Maybe she can sort of pray for me. Thank you. Well, we really are thrilled to be here this afternoon and, you know, for a lot of different reasons. We're going to be sharing with you some selections from our program of women's spirituality and songs and poems that uh, speak and sing the lives of women. The poetry that Deborah will be sharing this afternoon is all original, uh, comes from her. The uh, music and the chanting that I'll be sharing this afternoon come from lots of different cultures. And uh, if you know them or, or wish to or are moved by them, uh, please join in. Uh, as far as I know, that's from the table. So we're real delighted to be here. called The Earth is Our Mother, and if you feel like it, if you've been sitting for a while, if you feel like you'd like to get up and uh, stretch a little bit, am I supposed to put this up a little bit? There we go. Um, if you feel like you want to get up and stretch a little bit, it also has a motion with it, and you're welcome to do that.
ah, that makes you stretch yawn into it like a cat as you feel relaxed, hot, soft, and smooth like that out. It makes your voice so low, but not as low as the shape of O. O's rumble in your belly, melting up large liquid bubbles of hot sound. Oh, 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 happy, jolly, rotund, sensuous sound, changing shape and becoming something different. There is a spirit in these sounds that gives them a sense of purpose, a meaning beyond the now, an eternal sacred place where one soul finds peace, the omnipotent existence, the omnipotent I
are tears for me. I cried so hard, I thought a faucet had been left on to flow through my eyes. I couldn't see. I cried for all the time I could, when I was shut up and not allowed to feel the unspeakable and the unnameable horrific that assailed and assaulted my mind and my body and those of whom I love. These are tears for you. I cried so hard, I thought the tides had risen and the oceans flooded through my eyes. I couldn't see. I cried because you couldn't. You were made to shut up and stop while unspeakable horrors assailed your body, assaulted your mind, and then the unnameable to those you love. These are tears for all of us. I cried so hard, I thought the sky broke open and rain ran from my eyes in torrents. I couldn't see. I cried for all the times we could, because we were made to shut up, to stop, while unspeakable horrors assailed our bodies, assaulted our minds, and did the unthinkable to those we could.
I'm not going to stress you know, just to <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> and um, we'll gather back up to the intermission, I'm not sure exactly the time, but we'll, we'll dim the lights so they don't know that we're beginning to start the second half. And um, ask any of the people from the Y or from the College of Page or any of the stage folks, and they'd be glad to answer any questions or help you with anything. Because we're women and it's your afternoon. Thanks.
I sent out 8,000 invitations. Well, I didn't want to forget anyone. And 3,400 guests were in attendance. I was known to join Taft in a game of cards and a glass of beer. We were the first presidential couple to own an automobile and the last to own a cow. Our cow, Pauline Wayne, was often seen grazing on the White House lawn. I was the first first lady to attend cabinet meetings. You see, my husband had grown to over 350 pounds over the years. I still called him my adorable will. And he had a tendency of falling into deep sleep, so I would attend cabinet meetings to keep him awake. I found them fascinating. I also had a larger bathtub installed when Taft got stuck in the original one. <laughs> the one I had installed could fit four grown men. Has anyone been to the White House or our nation's capital in the springtime to see the cherry blossoms in the bloom? I was responsible for the planting of 3,500 cherry trees. They were a gift from the mayor of Tokyo. I planted the first tree and his wife planted the second. And some of them still remain today as a living legacy and they are my gift to you. When we left the White House, we moved to Connecticut where Taft became a law professor at Yale. And then President Warren G. Harding appointed Taft to his lifelong dream of Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. He served for nine years and became the only man to be both President and Chief Justice. When he died, he was buried in Arlington National Cemetery. When I died, I was buried in Arlington also as the only First Lady to rest there. She uh, was formerly of the funk, rock, and, and um, rhythm and blues group called Slick Willie Crazy. She's uh, got quite a voice, and she has her band with her, and I can't wait to hear her. And um, she's also been recognized with a certificate of achievement from Billboard magazine, which if you were ever one of those children who was really into rock and roll or really you know, followed the rock scene, I can remember going and looking, looking at Billboard magazine and seeing all the latest, so that's quite an achievement. Uh, I'd like to welcome Don O'Keefe, Williams, and her band. I want to thank everybody. I, uh, I really find it's quite an honor to be here. Uh, my friend, I know her as Teddy, Deborah that was playing the flute, uh, had told me about this. We were discussing how as performers and musicians we get tired of doing the you know, same old stuff and it's kind of nice to spread your wings and do your own. So I really appreciate being able to be here and play for you. This is uh, Debbie Jurek uh, that's playing guitar with me. And EJ, or known as Ellen Joy, we call her EJ, playing harmonica. <laughs> we have to, just to make sure our levels, and just do a couple of bars, our quick little sound check, make sure our amps, you know. I mean, I don't want Debbie to bury me. <laughs> After being on this planet a while, you know, you travel many paths and it pertains to everybody. I have my reasons for writing it, but I know you certainly all can relate.
Thank you.
Opa.
But the thing um, that I've learned to do when I go to the movies is to either sing or pray. So I'm going to sing a uh, or spiritual for you every time I feel the spirit. <coughs> One life can tell the 
tail. If you make the effort, you cannot fail. By your life, you tell me it can be done. By your life's the courage to carry on. She rose, appear like a friend, to light the way and clear the path. As time goes, you know you depend on your she rose. Show you the way she rose. Show you the way. What can I learn from you? That I must do the thing I fear I cannot do. That I, I must do what's right in my heart and soul. In an in, imperfection, it's the imperfections, that make us whole. One life can tell the tale. If you give your effort, you cannot fail. By your life, you tell me it can be done. By your life, the courage to carry on. You're my heroes. You appear like a friend to clear the path and light the flame. Time goes, you know you. On your she rose, show you the way. She rose, show you the way. She rose, you're here today. If you know this song, if you don't learn it, it's going to take you two seconds. It's called um, a Singing for Our Lives and Do Whatever You Move to Do. And I don't know, Amy, are you out there? I won't remember the words without you. I don't know if you can, if you want to come up here or just come near me. <laughs> My, thank you. <laughs> Amy and I do a lot of um, women's music together, and um, she's the one who knows where my car keys are and remembers the words. <laughs> That's why she's my friend. <laughs>